Hey, what's going on internet? In this video, we're gonna use the default particle world effect and create animated lines. Using the built-in particle effects in After Effects can be tricky to use. However, there's just so many different things you can create. So if you wanna follow along with this video, you can download our project files for free. Drop a like on this video, it does help us out tremendously. And if you're ready to create something awesome, let's get started. Alrighty, so the first thing we're gonna do is create the line and then take that line and turn it into particles. So here we are in a tutorial composition. I'm gonna have some pre-made titles in here, no big deal. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is come here, grab the rectangle tool, and we're just gonna draw out this rectangle, skinny rectangle, kind of like this nice and long, that's fine. Then what we're gonna do is go to the line tab, make sure this is centered in your composition, that is a must. And then when your rectangle is centered, we can grab the layer, go to layer pre-compose, and we'll call it a line. Click OK. So then what we want to do is go into that composition by double clicking. And with our layer selected, we'll grab the rectangle tool again. This time around, we're going to select tool creates mask. That's very important. And also what's important is that we draw a large mask like this. It has to be this large. And then make sure we set the mode to subtract because we only want a small portion of this you know, rectangle. So then what we're gonna do is hit F on our keyboard for mass feather. And we're gonna set this to about 600 because we really need this uh, feathered out. Now, one thing we wanna do is make sure that mask was large. It needs to be this large or you might get some hard edges here at the top and we don't want that. So then once we're done, we go back into that original composition with the line. And now we can start creating the particle effect. So what we'll do is we'll hide our line layer. So we've done no work whatsoever, congratulations. Let's go to layer, new, solid. We'll call it particles. And then we'll go to effect, simulation, and we're gonna grab that CC particle world effect. All right, we have some work to do now, but pretty simple stuff. First thing we'll do, we'll set the longevity to 12. All right, because I know that's what we're gonna have to set it to. And we'll go to the producer and we'll make sure that their position Y is above our composition. So about negative 30 is probably where we're gonna wanna be. Then we'll come here to the radius X. We'll set this to about 1.4 to make sure that the emitter or the producer is right above the comp like this and everything's being evenly distributed. Then we'll go to the physics. We'll set the velocity to zero and then we'll set the gravity to 0.004. All right, so we have a problem here. All the particles here at the top are just, you know, there, that's not good. We need this to be evenly distributed. So we'll grab our layer in our timeline and we'll move this forward in our timeline uh, so the particles will automatically be there when we start. You might need to uh, stretch out the out point of your particles layer. So go ahead and do that. Then we can close the physics tab and we'll go to the particle tab. We'll set the particle type to a textured square. We'll open up the texture tab, go to texture layer and set it to the line composition that we previously created. So now we should see some lines in here. However, these lines are gonna be too difficult to see. So we'll come here to the birth size, set that to one, go to the depth size, and we'll set this to five, and then set the max opacity to 100%. So now we have our lines in here, and this is an opportunity to change the color of your lines. So we come here to the first color, and you know, feel free to copy my hex code, because uh, I really played around with the color palette on this one. And now I'll set my second color, uh, to a darker blue. So you were really gonna wanna create that color contrast. So the rule here is really the first color should probably be a light color and the second color should be darker than the previous color because we wanna create this color contrast. And more importantly, we want this to stack on each other. So you'll probably see what I'm talking about in a few moments. Creating particles from scratch can be time consuming just like any other motion project. To help you save time and produce amazing work within minutes, we produce the Motion Graphics Advanced Pack which contains over 750 templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. You can preview every template before applying and then add it to your project with one click of a button. Then you can quickly change the graphics and the colors with the pre-made customization settings. And then you have a full graphic complete in under a minute instead of an hour. To see this pack in all 8,000 plus of our library of growing templates, be sure to check our links in the description below. All right, so I went ahead and turned on my title graphics. Perhaps you have a logo here, uh, but go ahead and put a graphic in there, you know? So then what we'll do is create a background for this because I don't think the black background looks good whatsoever. So we'll go to layer new, solid. You can change your color here if you like. Once again, feel free to copy my hex code 
uh, and click OK and we'll call it background and we'll make sure it's underneath everything. So that background will help. However, we need to create a duplicate of our particle effect because this looks flat. So we'll grab our particles layer and we can duplicate it. I'll call it particles small because we're going to change, well, how many are in here. So we'll set the birth rate to 0.5 on that duplicate layer. And then let's go back to the particle tab and we'll come here to the first color again and we'll change it around. So this time we'll do like maybe a more of a sky blue here. And then I'll change the second color to maybe more of a cyan sort of green color like so. So feel free once again to pause the video and copy those hex codes, or you can just download project files and you can just see I have everything here in a control layer and you can see all the color palette stuff that I already put together. And one thing we can do is take our particle small, we can duplicate that by going to edit duplicate and we can bring it above our title layer or graphic layer. This way the lines will appear in front of our graphics. So one thing I like to do here is make the lines actually bigger. So to make that bigger quickly, what we can do is go back into our line composition. Uh, and since we did a rectangle here, we can open up the shape layer, go to contents, go to rectangle one, go in the path, and it's a lot to go into, but you can break the chain for size and set that X size to 60. And this will make it thicker. So then back in our main composition, you know, the lines will be larger. And that's gonna look a lot, I think a lot better in my opinion. So go ahead and adjust the size of the line. Uh, so a couple of things we can do to help enhance this. First of all, we can go to layer, new adjustment layer. Uh, we go to effect. I think noise and grain is going to look awesome on this. So a uh, noise and set this to about 12% on Jack use color noise. Another thing that's going to be useful here is adding a drop shadow to any graphics you have. So we'll go to uh, perspective, drop shadow. Uh, I would select kind of a dark color in the same color palette. Uh, and then set the opacity almost to 100%. Uh, select the direction, so maybe we'll set this to zero degrees. And we'll come here and set the distance to about 85. Uh, and we'll come here to softness and set this to maybe like 200. You know, and that will help kind of create separation between any graphics and the background. So you can copy that. We can paste it to our other, you know, graphic here. And, you know, we can kind of stack that and that's going to look really cool. And also in addition, I can make the line even longer and that's going to also obviously change the style of the comp. Once it's all said and done, we can have this really cool particle line composition here in After Effects. Now, since there's so many different things that you can create with particle effects, I'm gonna link a few of our tutorials in the description below. Uh, if you want some more ideas of what is possible of what can be created with some of the particle effects here. So check those links below and always be creative.